we are moving on to the um, Indonesian on chain that will be launched very very soon Uli. Okay. So in a move to support digital vision in Indonesia 2045, a national program called Indonesia on chain is set to be launched on November 29. Various departments and government institutions have supported the launch of the program as a common platform in the digital and education sectors in Indonesia. Co-founder ICP.hub, Internet Computer Protocol Indonesia, Bruno Calabretta said in Jakarta today that blockchain technology and decentralization have marked a shift in global technology paradigm. Universities and senior high schools are at the forefront to kick off this transition. Bruno Calabretta said Indonesia on chain is meant to propel the understanding of blockchain technology in 95 education centers in Indonesia that consists of 75 senior high schools and 20 universities. Bruno said Indonesia on chain is in line with the government vision to improve digital economy among young generations in Indonesia and in Southeast Asian or ASEAN region. Okay, so first of all, Indonesia is the fourth most populated country in the world. 25% of the population is below 15 years of age. This makes Indonesia a unique market, meaning that the possibility here in terms of growing a new mentality, the new innovators, it's huge. We want to be in a country where there is possibility, where we can really teach and we can really showcase what are the potential of using blockchain technology, especially focusing on the technology of Internet Computer Protocol. So I'm really proud and happy, honestly, to be here in Indonesia and to have the possibility to deal with so many young minds that are eager to learn more about what is happening and that want to shape the future. Speaking at the same event, Agus Kenny from President University, who is also President Indonesia Blockchain and Metacare Center, IBMC, said that has fully supported the program and extended his appreciation to this program. This program will help the young Indonesian generations. The Ministry of Communications and Informatics, the Ministry of Tourism and Creative Economy, and the Sports and Youth Affairs Ministry, and many other small and medium-sized companies support this program.